Welcome, my name is Steve Thomason. This is my website, Deep in the Burbs. Um, I'm going to use this video to show you how I create uh, an interactive bibliography. Now, Deep in the Burbs is my dissertation. My goal is to have my entire dissertation as a an interactive blog. So let me show you this. I needed to do this for myself, so I thought I would walk through the steps. But let me show you uh, how this works. So here are all the, the basic sections of my dissertation. So let's go to theoretical frames. And you'll see that within my theoretical frames, I have several subcategories. So if you click on uh, epistemological considerations, um, there's a good example here of how in each of my sections, I have a Prezi. Now, we'll get to Prezi in a second, but uh, there's a couple assumptions for this video. One is that you at least have some familiarity with Prezi, and two, that you have some familiarity with WordPress. And if you don't know how to use those two different things, uh, you might want to check that out and get some basics. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple specific things, and I'm just going to show you how I use it. So here's an example. Uh, within my epistemological considerations, I have this Prezi. And you can see, within Prezi, you can just click on anything and you'll zoom in. So what I've done is, I've taken images of each of the key books in my bibliography and I've put put them in this uh, picture here and I've created frames around them so if you click on the book cover you'll zoom right in and you'll see let's just take this one for example uh, this book Beyond Foundationalism uh, co-authored by Stanley Grenz and John Frank now I can scroll my mouse in and zoom in wherever I want on this I can drag around and you'll see here that I have actually done a drawing for this book. Um, I do these drawings in, on my iPad and I, I just like to sketch out the concepts of books. It uh, helps me remember them. And uh, so that's kind of a fun interactive piece. But then at the bottom of every book, uh, I have a link. And this link, if you click on that link, it will take you to a blog article where I have done a review of the book. And so my goal is to have every book in my bibliography have one a page like this. And so each one of my blog's uh, entries for the book has a minimum of the following components. I always put uh, an image of the book cover and I put a, a proper citation, bibliography citation, and then I always have a link here to the Amazon page so that the reader can get the book for themselves if they want and read other people's reviews of it and such you know so and then what I do is I'll have a little bio sometimes I'll copy and footnote like from their own bio page sometimes I just have a link but I'll always have a link uh, in this case Stanley Grins his site looks like this and uh, I just like to make it easy for the reader to click right to uh, the author. So I have a link to the author. In this case, there's two authors. So there's John Frankie, and then uh, then I have my own summary. Some are very brief, some are pretty extensive. Uh, and then if there's any illustrations that I've done for the book, it'll be included in this. And then your uh, footnotes are down here. Um, and what's cool about the WordPress uh, theme that I'm using is that it has related posts at the bottom and then my tags are down here and then people can leave comments if they want and then I also here let me pull this up you can see I have a little back to top plugin that I've put in um, and I just found that through WordPress plugins so let's close this <clears throat> and come back to my original page and I want to tell you what I what I want to do in this exercise uh, I've created this drawing right here for, uh, let me zoom in a little bit for you so that you can get a better view of this Prezi. Um, I created this illustration of the hermeneutical shift uh, that kind of talks about the shift from the modern world uh, to the postmodern world. And you can see it's got all kinds of cool drawings in it. But this drawing right here in particular, um, this timeline was, I got this early on when I was in school, and I really got it from a book called Introduction to Philosophical Hermeneutics, 
written by Jean Grandin. And, and I have never, for some reason, I've just never uh, done a bibliographic entry for that. So I thought I would do that. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this post, in this video. Whoa, that, that's huge. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Um, now, what I've done is I've already created my, my blog post for this book. And so I've got my image of the, of the book here. I just go on Google and Google the title and find the image and then I, I bring it in. Um, and there's a picture of the author, a link to Amazon, a link to his site, and there's my illustration all by itself. Uh, so what I want to do is go over to my Prezi. And the, the cool thing about Prezi's is that they're housed on their own website over here in Prezi. And if you're a student like me or an educator, you can have a free account with Prezi. That's pretty cool. So what you do is you, know, you can move around inside the Prezi from here. Then you just come down here and you click the edit button. And it'll open up the inner guts of your Prezi. It takes a little bit, especially if you have as much content in it as I do. So inside of Prezi is it's like a, a blank workspace. And what I want to do is zoom in. I have a little scroll uh, wheel on my mouse. So I'm just scrolling in and I want to put the book cover for this book right here so that as users come in they can see that I used this uh, the book f for this illustration. So what I'm going to do, there's a couple ways you can do it. I'm going to move my browser over and you can see that I have the picture of the book cover already on my desktop. The easiest way to do this is to just take the image and drag it and drop it right into your Prezi. And there it is. Now you can easily resize these pictures. And so what I'm going to do is grab the corner and drag it down. And I think I want it to be about that size, like that. And then I'll zoom in. Now if you click and hold, you can click and drag and uh, move it around. And I think what I'm going to do is click out. If you click outside the box, it'll unselect that. Now, any anytime you click once inside of Prezi, it'll open up automatically open up a text box. So I'm going to make a little message to the reader. Um, this illustration is based on the book below. And what I'm going to do is drag it over here. And I think I'm going to make this a two line. And then you can come up here and make it centered. And then if you grab this bottom um, ball there, you can move it around. That's a little bit too high. I want so I'm going to move it down like that and see how it automatically snaps the center. That's pretty cool. Now, once I've created the, the text, uh, the next time I click on it, it will uh, already frame it and ask me to edit text. So I'll click on edit text. See this box right here. If I click that box, it'll automatically fill in the whole box itself, which is kind of nice because that'll offset that uh, those words and so now I have the book inside of there and what I'm going to do is come back I have it open in a different tab I have my blog post to this book open in my browser and I'm going to click once to highlight the URL address of this post I'm going to right mouse click and copy that address then I'm going to come back over here to my Prezi and I'm going to scroll in 
I'm going to zoom in real tight. And if I click once, it'll open up another um, text editor. And I'm just going to right mouse click and hit paste. Oh, you know what? It doesn't like that. I forgot. So I'm going to do command V. There we go. I hit command V and it pasted in my URL address. Now I can hit this, this, uh, these two buttons are text reduce, text enlarge. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to use my scroll wheel and scroll out again. I'm going to make this text centered. And see this button right here, this allows you to expand the, the margins. Like if you want it to be all on one line, or if you want it to wrap around like that, I think I want to do it like that. And pull it right at the bottom and see how it, that blue dotted line, it automatically snaps to center. Now if I look at that and think, ah, uh, that's pretty good, but I think I might want it to be a little smaller. I just drag that corner and make it smaller. And then uh, I can zoom out. Now here's the cool thing. If you come over to the side and just uh, hold your mouse to the side, this little menu will pop up. You can you can zoom in and out with this button too if you don't have a, a scroll bar. If you hit this house button, it'll take you back so you can see the whole picture. Now see how small my uh, th that picture is? If I hover my mouse over it and do my scroll bar, it'll zoom in right on the part where my mouse is. See, now I have that book inside of my Prezi and have a link to it. So what I'll do is you can either hit save or you can hit exit and it'll automatically save. And we'll let that do its work. And once it exits, then I'll be uh, back out into my Prezi. Now, in case you're wondering, how did I get that Prezi inside of my WordPress blog? I'll show you that in just a second. But let's make sure that the interactive piece actually works. So now my Prezi, this is in presentation mode. So anybody who's using this Prezi uh, can do what I'm about to do. So they, I click, see how I just clicked on that book cover and it zoomed right into it. And if I click right here boom it opened up my book review oh that is so sweet okay so let me close that tab and let me show you see back over here what's really cool is if i go back to my theoretical frames and my epistemological considerations <clears throat> When it pulls up that Prezi again, you'll notice um, it has to load the Prezi. It's almost there. As long as this circle is spinning, you're still in business. Notice what happens is now my updated Prezi is active. I didn't have to do anything. And if I click on that link, boom, there it is. That's an interactive bibliography. So let me show you how you get that into your WordPress. So what you want to do is you want to click embed and hit copy code to clipboard and it said copied. So I'm going to come back over here and you'll see this particular uh, site here. This is a WordPress page and what I'm about to show you works in a page or a post. So what you want to do is come up here and edit your page. And so if you were doing this from scratch, uh, you would see that you just paste that code right inside of your WordPress page. And so you can see in the visual editor, 
it shows you just a big box where the Prezi is housed. But if you come over here, this is the key. You have to come over here to the text side. And you just see this right here, iframe to iframe. That piece right there is what I copied from Prezi. And then I pasted it into this. So let me just show you um, how that works. I'm going to create a new post just for kicks to show you how it works. If I create a new post, you enter the title here. Testing the testing the Prezi. Let's try it that. And if I scroll down, make sure that I'm in text edit mode. If I click in here, do command V or control V if you're on a PC. See it takes the Prezi, you can tell that you did the right thing because it says Prezi.com. This is the code that will embed the Prezi inside of your post. And then let's just hit a preview and make sure that it worked. Sometimes previews don't work well in WordPress as far as Flash plugins. Yep. I have to actually publish it for that to work. Bummer. I guarantee you it does work. <laughs> so if you come back, let's go back to my site. I'm going to leave the page because we don't really want to save that post. Well, I did what I set out to do in this video. Let's double check. If I go to my theoretical frames, check my epistemological considerations section. This is my introduction to it. Some of my key books are uh, linked here in the footnotes. But if you want to browse around my interactive bibliography, you go into the Prezi, and I can tell right now that my new edition is in there. All right, so that's how I use Prezi and WordPress to create interactive bibliographies. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.